Well, good morning, Kane, and good morning, everybody. Welcome to episode 121 of Not My Time at Porsche. Welcome to episode 121 of Pumpkin Days with Zora at Wahoo Beach. Cashew salt cookie batter. That sounds wonderful. So I've decided we're going to focus the next couple of episodes on... um, Let me just get to it. The next couple of episodes on finishing up our bug collection. I made a list of the bugs we're missing. We're going to start with the beetles and we're going to work our way through. Now what if I... Ooh, I've killed something. What did I plant that I shouldn't have? Probably one of the herbs. That's okay. I'm sure I'll get over it. Ah, radio. Everything's going okay. So I'm going to be a little bit neglectful of my animals. Here's my little chocolate calf. My beautiful little chocolate calf. I know. I'm not biased. This is fuzzy. Now the one thing about fuzzy is you notice with your chocolate calves they have this beautiful, I'll just scrolly scrolly in a bit. They have this love heart over on, in the middle of their foreheads and they've got this beautiful little love heart around their eyes. So if you're ever looking for a visual um, reference to what your chocolate cows look like, this, this is what they look like. My goodness, I'll just turn that down just a tad. It's noisy today. And I think that music is trying to tell me that it's the festival and I should get my tushy. Oops. Oh man, my overloaded little tushy. All right, there are a few things we need to like that does not go anywhere let us very quickly throw things into the shipping crate and i really should empty my my spouse's box not that either all right so all of these i've got i was very disappointed to discover this don't freak the ladybug is up here i had two of them so we will toss all of these bugs in here and we are not we are not going to tell ash because that that poor man is going to have an absolute set of kittens if we do. Radio. Now we have a little bit of space. I'll just make sure I've got no urgent errands. No, see, no urgent errands. We're good. It's only five Venus flytraps, not ten. I don't know why I had ten in my head. Is it? Yes, it is festival day. So we're going to take the kid to his first festival. Come on, Zane, this is fun. We're going to go have a cooking comp with Mayor Lamont. Fishing contest. Alrighty, talk to him between 10 and 12. I don't know if I want to go on a fishing contest. Oh, I do because I've got fish I haven't caught yet. Were there things I had to buy? I know, I just can't remember. So it's one of the things I wanted to do was my cooking, but I think what we might do is we might just completely ignore. Oh, I love the summer festival. There are some gorgeous things too. We have fish chairs and tables. We have special food, uh, salt and fish bakes, beef patties, roti and conch fritters. Yum. All right. I know, and over here we have clothing. Actually, I don't know if I've gone nuts and bought the summer clothes yet. We should, oh, we should so do that. Look at some of these outfits. Alrighty. We will buy a fun shake shirt. We'll buy a sunny t-shirt. We'll buy a retro wave shirt. We'll buy a pineapple Hawaiian shirt. Now, thank you. And a vapor wave t-shirt, yes. And then we're going to stand here. We're going to just toddle over here with these nice balloons in the background. Uh, and I'm going to unlock my camera, hit my middle mouse button and pivot the whole screen. Uh, I'm going to wind myself out a little bit so we get a better look at her. Just get her to shuffle. I shall just... Ah! I know, my controls are reversed. There we go. Alright, that's going to make a nice screenshot when I actually change everything. So we will take a screenshot of her like this. Photo bomber Valerie. We're going to try on the fun shake t-shirt, see what that looks like. That's kind of cute, isn't it? Actually, I really like that lighter look on her. Let us take a shot of that. And then I think what we'll do is we'll try on the sunny t-shirt. That's not too bad. I don't like it as much as I like the other one, though. Alrighty, what else, what else have we got? The retro wave t-shirt. Ooh, actually, I like that one too. That's pretty cute. Let's take a shot of that one. All right, what else we got? Oh, I wish I could remember the name of the person who designed these. They did a wonderful job. Okay, I'm not so fond of that for this character, but I reckon that would that would suit a character with lighter colored hair. 
that is pretty look at the pineapples on this thing anyway let us go with the vaporwave t-shirt you know I like that too let's go and we'll take a shot of that one I oh know way too much fun with the fashion but uh, I'm, I'm really torn now I'm torn between actually let's do the fun shake give it that lighter look or we could do the retro wave I don't know no fun shake it is today let's wear that one Woohoo! let's lock our camera again so we don't end up wondering running a wonky and because we are going to focus on our bugs we have about six beetles left one of them being that horrible longhorn beetle that I keep missing last time so let us see if any of them have returned all right that was a ladybug which we have in our backpack ready to rock I think I'm on the wrong side of the trees too to see them let's just try and not scare any more off and we'll come in from this angle okie dokie all right so we are going to try and spot some bugs before we scare them we don't need to catch the tiger beetle that I kept missing last episode aha there's a green one Ooh. all right okay that's a dog's bane we don't need that one I'll scare it I know because I want them to respawn okay if you're wondering why I'm being a lunatic I mean not that I need an excuse that was a ladybug we didn't need that one either I'm also going to have to remember if it looks like something I want I'm going to have to come in with my net up to have half a chance of catching it so that looks like a reddish potato beetle yes let's scare that one radio next Uh, let me check my list on that one. I need a giant stag, a horned dynastid, a horned Hercules, a longhorned neon, and a scarab. Alright, let's not risk that that might be a scarab. I think it's actually a dog's bane. But we'll see. I know, six beetles, it does not sound much. A diving beetle there we go I know I know you guys tell me I shouldn't doubt myself I just can't help it oh 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 all right that that's exciting let's see if we can catch this one actually it looks like a four spot sap I, I was hoping it was a long necked beetle yeah it's a four spot spat all right we'll scare it yeah <laughs> I know, and this is when the computer reveals it was indeed a longhorn beetle. And I'll be like, oh no, I want my mother. Actually, she would be very unsympathetic, so maybe not. Okay, let's see what we can catch. Oh, oh, I don't know what sort of beetle that one is, but I think we need, we probably don't actually. That could be an ox beetle. Yes, I think it is an ox beetle. We'll catch it anyway. Some of these beetles are worth like a whole hundred G, so you know. Yeah, that's an ox beetle. They're nice, they're very distinctive, aren't they? That looks like a ladybird. Let's, let's, I don't know, maybe chase it away. And prove that we're not wrong <laughs> I haven't seen this many I remember last game with Camille I was quite excited to see because I hadn't seen that many of them radio I know don't shake your tail at me bug aha uh -huh, I see something over there I think I have it though whoops that's the beetle I never see because I'm too busy looking at this one I'm pretty sure that's one we've got though okay it's a golden something wait for it to shake one and two okay it was a fruit beetle and we did have it that's okay all right so that's all the beetles on this end of the the forest 
we're going to go this way. There's usually one around here somewhere. <coughs> there it is. You know, I think we have that one as well. Looks kind of fruit beetle-ish to me. And there's another one over here. Yeah. Alright, let's just move back out and we'll re reacquire this other beetle that's over here. Where'd it go? There it is. You know what? That looks like another gosh, gosh it all beetle, fruit beetle. Oh wait a minute, it might not be. Oh no, it is. Let's let's catch it anyway, just in case we're wrong. No, it was a globe mallow. There you go. Okay, let's zip out this way. Yeah, because there's another another green sort of beetle right there. We'll catch that one. Oops, we'll catch it better with a net in our hand, won't we? You know, I don't know what that one is. It's a shake your tail beetle. Man, so many fruit beetles. I reckon, I reckon the uh, other farmer should be thanking me for ridding the territory of all these pesky bugs. There's one over here and there's one there. So there's, that looks like a reddish potato. This looks like a spotted sap. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure it is a spotted sap and a reddish potato beetle. They're both going to go off at the same time though. Oops, that was the four spot sap. Haha, <laughs> got you Mr. Reddish Potato Beetle. There is another one down here somewhere, I always miss it. Okay, so today we're going to clear these trees. Uh, I think they'll respawn anyway, pretty quick. But I uh, will try not to be beetling after dark. What I do want to go is I want to go to Spoonie Island. Because there's a moth that I haven't got. And it's said to spawn out there. Okay, I'm pretty sure there's another beetle somewhere in this vicinity as well. Let me just... Oh, there's one. Hang on. There, now can you see it? Let's see. That looks like another one, another fruit beetle actually. Let him stop shaking. Uh, get in close and zap him. Ha ha! My fellow farmer does so to owe me for beetle, beetle removal. All right, I'm going to swing wide around here. I think there's another two that I, that I can get uh, up in this little cluster here. And I know there's one I always, always, always miss. That's right. See, now I'm not seeing any of them. It always scares me when that happens. Because I know I'm going to hear that disappointing scurry as they run away. Unless I caught them yesterday. You know, that might be it. I could just run madly through here and scare them. No, I think they're gone. Alright, so that means those beetles aren't there. Let's go see if we can catch a few up here. And uh, we'll go back out to the islands. I know, we'll just start right back. If these guys aren't here, it'll be because they haven't spawned back in yet. Uh, I have a feeling. I have a feeling that they haven't spawned back in yet. How sad. 
never catch them when they're not there. Yeah, okay, they're not there. Let's, um, so that means, <gasps> there was one there. Oh man, okay, that means there might be a couple here. Yeah, there's one. See him right there, just lurking. Ooh, and that, that's a clematis stag. Cyclo, oh look, I'll butcher the name somehow. Let's catch this one, because we can. I know, right? A little bit of craziness in our lives is good for us. Shake that tail, beetle. Oops, that was a dung beetle, that's okay. This one, this one we just want to catch because it's pretty and we can and it's there. Look at that thing, how gorgeous. It's got to be patient though. Cyclomatus stag, there you go guys. Can so talk, not well, but you know, it's worth a shot. All right, I think the one I scared was on this one. Fine, 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 fine. We're going to go and we're going to head off to um, Spoonie Island. Uh, I don't think I've got my rain ras rainbow cake on me. Man, what is wrong with me? Raspberry cake. No, I've got just about any other cake, but. So, oh, that's right. And we had to go to the pyramid as well, I remember. Not tonight, though, because the pyramid is... Hey, harmonica. How you doing, girl? Doing okay with your first foal? Yes? Alrighty, so what we're trying to do is um, breed with our, with our horses. We're trying to breed our unicorns and with our, we've already got our chocolate cow. We've already have our rainbow sheep. Uh, so we're also trying for unicorns and a winged pig, which won't actually have wings. I'm sorry to say. Um, I think they're really white, but I always get them muddled up with the, with the pink pigs. So what we're doing out here on Spoonie is we're going to try and catch ourselves a dusk moth or a peppered moth or something. I know, I should check my list. There are a couple that I'm missing with the moths. Butterflies, emperor gum, peppered moth and a Madagascan sunset. And that they've all been seen out in this area, but seeing as it's dusk, we're going to have nothing but moths. That looks like a burnet and a, a lunar, not a lunar. Oh man, there's, there's another word for them. Uh, I'm also proving at the moment too, to my surprise, whoops, that you can catch moths with the best bug net that's not the one that you get as a special, so the ultimate. It's a comet moth, there you go. Um, with the with the not special bug net if that makes any sense to you guys so if you haven't befriended lisa or komoko to the point that you have your um your your special bug net you can still you don't have to give up on on catching bugs you can still craft your ultimate bug net none of these are new um and you still have a chance of catching some of the more difficult things. Although I'll let you all laugh at me later when I try and do that with a black widow spider because apparently I have not had the courage to try and catch one of those yet. <laughs> I'm going to have to make sure I've got my full hit points up and everything for those things. Alrighty. Because they will knock me down half my hit points. Because they're like that. Pretty sure I've seen emperor gum moths in it. Um, there's a lunar moth in it. Um, pumpkin veil. Um, I know it's not in the wiki, but I'm pretty sure that I have seen once seen them there. Uh, which we might be a theory we should check. It's but it is eleven o'clock, so maybe not today. So there are a couple of other spaces we can find moths out on Spoonie and butterflies. Uh, here being one of them. I wonder what sort of moth this is. The peppered moth actually, if I'm honest, the, I've, the most, the, the place I've seen most of them is in the Lucky Pine Forest. Um, which I suppose if I'm really desperate to go and catch a black widow spider is 
one of the one of the places I can find black widow spiders as well. Alrighty, up onto the back of the island, there's some flowers back here that we um, that we can gather. You know what? I don't know if I've donated these flowers to the museum, but we're not here for flowers tonight. We're here for the moths. Yeah, this looks like it might be a Prometheus silk moth. Yes. Let's see if it has any friends nearby. There's one over there. Still not fighting my pepper moth. We, like I said, we may have to make a run out to the um, a night run. Uh -huh. Out to. I know, why do I want one when I already have one so I can sell them? Because I can. I don't know if there's an achievement for selling bugs. Uh, if there is, I haven't found it yet. Oh, wait, that might be promising. We oh, watch, this will be the moth that gets away. No, nope, that, that was it, that was one. So we've now caught, well, let's have a look. Our peppered moth, just grab that. Yep, that was another one of our bugs. We were missing about... So the lanternfly, the ladybug, the goliath bird being the peppered moth. So now I just have to get the Madagascan sunset and the emperor gum moth. Oh, uh, and we will have all of our butterflies. I thought I saw another one over this way. Here, butterfly. Okay. Alrighty, that's it. Let's uh, pop it our our bug net. Uh, Emperor gum moth. We might go and chase one of those down tomorrow night. Tonight I think it's midnight, and it's time our little character got to bed before she collapses with exhaustion. I'm I'm pretty pleased that we've almost got our butterflies. We are missing uh, one, maybe two ants, uh, and they're they're actually in an area where we're missing. I know. I've been terrible about catching the things that might sting me um, and bite me. So so we're going to have to just face our fears and do that. We, we have nearly all of the scorpions. You know the scorpions that I keep running into and that keep stinging me and putting me in a hospital? The bark scorpions. Well, I've caught those. Don't ask me why I'm scared of the black widow. The bark scorpions are much scarier. Uh, but anyway... I've caught those. What we're actually going to have to do is go into the tropical tundra. Not just for fossils, because we are missing a few of those, but uh, also for the scorpion scorpion. A couple of dragonflies. And I think we need to get the honey pot ant as well. I could be wrong about that, but we, we'll, we'll get one anyway. I guess we'll find out when we catch it um, as to whether or not it's what we're after. So uh, we, we need to do that. Um, get my my kid and my pony off to bed and we'll get into the next day I know go pony go she's like I can't run up that hill human what are you thinking I'm not super horse oh boy uh yeah we might have to deal with that too can we oh my gosh I'm gonna have to remember to feed Zane as well come here you little rodent Zane has turned into a toddler. Oh boy, the terrible twos are upon us, man. Uh, we are not feeding him cake. I need to make some healthy food for my son. And I forgot to check my recipes. Oh. Alrighty. Okay, before he starts screaming at me, because he, he will, he's a toddler now, they, they, they yell a lot and they cry. So before he starts doing that, what have I got in my backpack that's not junk food? Oh, oh there he goes. Mr. Mr. Grumpy. Okay, that's that's it. I'm feeding him something, anything. Oh my god. It's eat salad. What about meat dishes? Okay, his dad likes ham sandwiches, but I won't start him on that so soon. Oh my god, no. Ah, oh, right, that's it. No, I'm out of chicken seasoning. I'm just looking for something I can make. Right, that'll do. 
Uh, we are going to feed this kid anything to make it stop crying. Uh, no, we're going to feed him. We're going to feed it meatballs, okay? Let's, let's try that to start with. Man, ah, oh, where are you? <laughs> okay, let me just grab him over here. Uh, I think we'll just pop him down there. We'll put the meatballs in our hand and we will feed him. Oh boy, he likes meatballs. Right. Okay. I know. Come here, you terrible tyrant. Uh, all right. You're going to help mummy with the cooking show? There you go. Plum cake. Oh, that reminds me. I, I meant to, oh man, I should have remembered yesterday to grab some more raspberries. I completely forgot. Oh, oh right, the baby's got me bamboozled. Never let them see you, see you worried. Okay, I have two blueberry cakes left. Um, oh boy, so many cakes to make. Oh, raspberry cakes. All right, we're going to make 20 raspberry cakes. Oh, well, yeah, I should probably press the button, right? I know. Give the kid meatballs and make, make raspberry cake while he's watching. Shh. We'll be fine. Blueberry cake. Let's make, let's make ten of those. Okay. Um. Uh, yeah. Don't mind me. I'm just. Completely. I think I planted mustard and it didn't grow. Oh no, I could be wrong. No, I think I did plant mustard and didn't grow. Oh, look, I'll find out the hard way. Okay. Oh. You reckon we take the little rodent up to the islands? Uh, well, we've got to get to the tundra. Let's do the topical tundra today. We'll grab some dragonflies. We'll visit Canna Lake. There we go. If I can't find any beetles on the trees. Radio. That's a good decision. That's, um, he's really worrying me. I'm not sure I want to take him with me today, but I, I don't really get a choice. Okay. <laughs> don't know. Man, kid, you've completely discombobulated me. Come on. Actually, you know what? You can go play in the stables with the ponies. Oh, while I clean up the poop that isn't there anymore. Um... No, the mustard took. Man, what did I try and plant that did not take? I forget. Okay. <clears throat> Let us just put him on the seed maker. He can't go too far if I do that right. We'll drop the brown wood planks in there. <laughs> there he goes. That's what I was trying to remember to do. Okay, I'm going to leave him out here. I know I should not leave him unsupervised with the animals and I would never do that in real life, but... Uh, I have things. I know it doesn't matter. You just don't turn your back on them. They're like an ocean. Like an ocean. What? You know what I mean. That goes in there. Peanuts and coconuts. And ginger. Right, well, forget that. It's just... Oh, that was bad. All right. Lantern. Pepper. Where's the... There's the pepper. Ah, uh, the ladybug. And the... Where is it? The goliath bird wing. Alrighty, we're good. You know, we, we have a butterfly that we need to... to ca where did... There he is. He's talking to the chicken. Baby and the chicken get along just fine. Look, see? <laughs> oh no. Okay, we're gonna throw these bugs. I know, let's gonna freak out Ash again. Uh, everything from there. But this we're gonna need the space because we're gonna go bug catching, so. 
Okay, all of that's good. Yeah. Any minute now, I'm about to end up with a child on my back. You know I should empty this out. Holy snap and dooly. Um, am I missing? Yes, I'm missing the carpenter bee. So that's... Oh, I'm missing the neon tortoise. And I'm missing the orchid bee. If you have a look, all of those... All of those are bugs. We would have had to have caught, catch, catched, catched, caught. All right. Um, however, none of none of the others, uh, which I'm kind of relieved at, because there's my zoo corn. That's where my zoo corn went. I'm kind of relieved because um, I don't really want to have a brown recluse roaming about in my backpack. Uh, we do need to put those flowers away in the crafting box. So uh, I will do that. Not these flowers. These flowers are for a mission. Right. All that's sorted. Just sort that up. We might stick our seeds away in the seed, in the seed thing. Oh, I should have put the fish away when we we're inside, but that's not going to happen. Where did my kid go? All right. He's he's found the trellis. That's okay. I, don't ask me why he's in pink today. I'm blaming um, Kane for that. All right, we're going to go see if we have bugs on trees. Oh, they have not respawned. All righty. Whistle up our pony. Hey, Smokey. How you doing, girl? Yeah, all good. Let's go check our mail. We probably have got paid. I'm not sure I want to put any money in my backpack in case I fall over today. Well, that won't hurt me. Alrighty. We're going to head on out to the islands and we're going to see if the bugs have respawned. It's been a couple of days, so I'm hoping that they have. Um, we'll have a quick look at these trees as we pass them. All right, so these ones have respawned. So I'm gonna I'm gonna make a call and say that the um, these ones haven't. So I think it might take about two days to respawn. So on our way through, we are going to. I oh know. Check up on. Actually, no. We're going to go straight to the islands because um, we can work our way back. I know there are scorpions in these woods and riding a pony will not save you every time. But our, our bug requirement got a lot lower real quick. Whoops. Alrighty, there are also black widows in these woods. What I want to do is come around the rim. I'm lost. I've got come too far. Because that's um that's kind of like over there. Right, so I want to come down here. Oh no no it would oh, man, nearly ended up in the tundra. That would have been bad. Okay, it is so much quicker uh, by horseback, whoops, unless you fall off the edge, which I don't want to do because I've got the baby on my back. All right, so the only artifacts we're missing are not coins, so we don't need to... Um, might just leave Smokey here. She can enjoy the sun or she can go take shelter under the, the trees. Uh, we want to hit the end of this island. I don't need cake for this. I know. I know. It's all good. We're fine. All right. Now this is where I found my longhorn beetle, but apparently... Okay, there is a beetle on that tree. It's not a longhorn though. That looks like a red potato beetle. We will catch it anyway. It's pretty and red from here.
And you guys so often get the, the end of the day where I'm in the dark chasing beetles. It's, it'll be a nice change to actually have them here. Now this is a um, one of the flowers you guys might be looking for. I know of one spot on the mainland you can find it. But you can find it so much easier out here. There's a, a beetle there, but it, it looks like a four spot sap. I know these islands are beautiful in the sun. Yeah, there we go. One four spot sap. Lock it out net so we can move with some kind of speed. All right, we're going to just toddle over this way. Oh, I'm trying to remember the other place I saw the Madagascan sunset. Oh, butterfly. Okay. There's one right there. I don't know what that is. And there's one over here. All right, that looks now closer, like a four spot sap. I don't know what that green thing is though. All right, that was a dung beetle. I just go back this way. See, that looks pretty. This, I think that might be a diving beetle or a... The other one, dog's bane. No, that was a diving beetle. That's okay, getting the easy beetles out of our system, what we can. <clears throat> Not that those are terribly easy. There's another one, I wonder what that is. Looks kind of familiar, but... Um, Actually, I think it's a four spot sap or a fruit beetle. No, it's not quite right, is it? For either of those. It's a dung beetle. I should have known that. There's another one. That looks like a diving beetle. So you won't get the same sets of spawns on uh, of each beetle. Oh, it was a fruit beetle. Oh, I know my beetles. Not. <laughs> Alright, let's um just double back this way. I like that there's a couple of days rest. Um in the respawn then where you don't have to fret so much that you might be missing you know a beetle by not getting straight out there the next day it's it makes the game a little bit more relaxing if you know you've got a cycle round to it also more stressful because like you want it now but take your pick guys there's one down there and there's one over there all right, I don't know what that is. Let's, I think that might be a tiger beetle actually. Or a jewel. Tiger beetle, yes. I know, I'm always pleased when I catch one of those because they're menaces to catch. Even though I've got that one. This looks like a reddish potato beetle. We'll just get it off the tree. The tree can't like having it there, right? Haha, <laughs> gotcha. Alrighty, let's see what else we can find. I didn't realise there were some on these little trees as well. You have to be a little bit more, you know, observant. And you'll notice that these beetles are on the opposite side of the tree. That looks like a lady beetle. Uh, on the opposite side of the tree to the ones at Wahoo Beach, so you can't just assume you can approach them. 
from the same angle. Here, beetle beetle. Now, there was, there's usually stag beetles down on these other ones. But, um, not what we're after. What we're after is a thin grey beetle. You know how hard the, um, the tiger beetle is to see? Well, he's not as hard to see as the long, the long horn beetle, which is a thin grey beetle on a grey tree trunk. What is that? That is a giant bird wing thing. No, that is a tree trunk. I know, I live in hope. Now I'm wondering what I missed over here. I'm pretty sure I inspected these tree trunks, but we'll have another look. Yeah. There's one right there. I think we've got this one as well, but we'll go catch it anyway. I'm just trying to familiarize with the trees that have beetles on out here. Yeah, that's a fruit beetle. Well, our pest eradication program is coming on just fine. Ooh, that one's a sneaky beggar. He's on an entirely different part of the tree to all the rest. Come here, a beetle. Uh, I think it might be another fruit beetle though. It's a horned elephant beetle. I think we've already got that one though. Yeah, that was one we did have. Still, I am pleased to see it. That away. All right, so now we know that some of them are on the, uh, are on the far side of the tree. I know. I think the devs wanted us to not be bored. And they did a very good job. We are so not bored. Diving beetle. All right. Should we explain why I keep hearing them scurrying away without seeing them? Because they're on the opposite side of the tree to the side I'm looking at. So we're not bored, we're frustrated. Oh, wait, 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 there's one. Ruining my assumptions again. That one's changed spaces. I wonder, it might be a dung beetle again. Or a long... No, I think it's a dung beetle. Or a four spot sap. Four spot sap. You know how I said there were normally rhino beetles out here? I was wrong. <laughs> today, today the trees are proving me wrong. Um, we also... Ooh, there's a thing with a little blue head on it. Just... Yeah, well, that's going to be a devil to catch, isn't it? Let's, let's give it a go. What is that? It's pretty. Pretty sure that's not a, an official designation. Oh, it is pretty. It's an imperial tortoise. We do have one, but uh, that's like the second one we've seen in the game, so... I know, beetles, they're so special. I think we have caught all the pretties, but let's, um, let's check. All right, so I guess t tomorrow we're going to be going after the other beetles. I know, this is where I hear one scurrying up a tree that I completely missed. All right, back over to the mainland. Ready, Zane? Bath time. No, that is not a rubber ducky. That's a shark. Um, no, I made that up. It's all fine. There was no shark. Zane is safe. All 
I know we're doing favours for the museum and the island. Because the better the collection is, the better everything is. Up. Alrighty, we're getting there. And again, and again, and again. Yes. Okay. So come on, Smokey. I know you're going to love this next part. I'm probably not going to love the next part, but that's okay. On our way home, we are going to investigate. Oh my god, I'm going into the Valley of Spiders. Oh, I wonder if Emperor Gum Moths can be found up here. Let's find out. I mean, that looks kind of Emperor Gumish, doesn't it? Could be a butterfly that got lost. No, I think. Okay, it's a Prometheus silk moth. All right, well, I guess while we're here, let's go and molest all the butterflies and moths. Will you stop picking things? And... Lime hawk moth. This looks like an elephant moth. These things are so pretty. Elephant hawk moth. The other thing I'm hoping to kind of find up here while I'm roaming around, I know I'm going to take Zane Cliff jumping in a minute, um, is dragonflies, but I don't know if they fly around at night. I'm not seeing any, so I'm going to assume that maybe they don't. Which means maybe I shouldn't go jumping off this cliff. No, wait, there's one. Right, we're going to catch this thing. Oh, they're really hard to see at night. Actually, they're really hard to see during the day, so... It's a blue something or other. Oh, a tropical rock master. Wait, wait, wait I think we might have wanted that one. No, 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 we caught that one last time. What am I on? Radio. what else are we after? See, so we're just kind of going to casually make our way to the edge of the cliff. And then we're going to launch ourselves over. So down here, right? Oh, this is crazy. Why am I doing this? Oh, well, I can't stop now. Oh, yeah. I, I know you had a good landing, kid. That was my back you landed on. All right, so down here, we're kind of looking for scorpion scorpions and um, red dragonflies, like that one. Oh, and like that one. Let's, um, let's see if this is, you know, that looks a bit like a bark scorpion to me. All right, well, we better not miss then. No, that was a scorpion scorpion. Awesome. Now, where'd that dragonfly go? There it is. Right, that's a large red dragonfly. It's one of the ones we were after. It's midnight too, so I need to go home. Uh, as soon as I remember which way home is. There's a little one. I know she says. Hunting dragonflies. Like, a, like nobody's business. Alrighty. I should probably be riding my pony through here. Because I need to kind of go that way. Oh. Okay, this is the other thing we came in here for. Oh, I'm pretty sure we haven't got this one. Oh, and we still haven't got it. That's the honeypot end. All right, well, it, it had a friend over here. And I was just thinking I better, you know, resist temptation and not try and catch this as well. But okay, well, seeing as we're here and we missed the last one. Right, now we got that one. Uh huh. Now I just want to go home in a hurry, and this is not the area to do it in. All I need to do is reach the other end of the valley without stepping on something bitey. We 
we do have to come back in here too. Uh, I'm going to teleport my pony down here. Hey, Smokey. Smokey's like, you crazy lady, you're going to gallop me through a field full of rocks? Yes, Smokey, I am. And scorpions, believe it or not. This is a pond we're going to come back and visit. Uh, maybe, if I don't scare all the dragonflies away. Good girl, Smokey. You did it. Alright, we're just going to kind of zip around the edges as best we whoops, as best we can. And try not to step on anything that's going to object. Um, sometimes they're a little hard to see. Oh, like that. That thing we want to stay well away from. That is a bark scorpion. Alrighty. I know, I'm, I'm being really mega cautious because I don't want to get stung and sent to hospital and lose, you know, a day and a half. Whew. And to avoid that, we're heading straight back home. It'll be really late. I think we might let this character sleep in tomorrow. I oh, see Zane can't be mad at me. He's awake too. Just going to pop the pony. Oh, oh my god, we have had babies arrive. We will unwrap those after this character gets some sleep because I don't want to fall over on my head. It's 3.35. We're going to remember to look at our recipes on the way through because we are addicted to our television. Cooking channel. Grape ice cream. That was not worth staying up for. Haku, how could you? Oh, come here, little rat. Time for bed. I think even mommy and daddy are sleeping. Where, where are we sleeping? There we are. Alrighty. But on that note, guys, too, I am going to leave you. If you enjoyed it, hit like if you want to see more and subscribe. I'll check you later. Take care out there.